Hey guys, it's NCS Fan here, welcoming you back to the walkthrough. Last time we did two Arbuto Colts and unlocked the Burrow Beast as well as the Furitex Cell Detector and bought some stuff. So, time to return to start collecting Furitex Cells. So, as you guys remember, red dots indicate uh, alien artifacts. The green dots will indicate Furitex Cells. Yeah, that was really hard to figure out, wasn't it? So anyway, uh, the Furitex cells, there are 40 of them on the ground in each area, with the exception of the fourth area, which I'm going to get into that when we actually get there. Technically, it counts for 40, but there's a weird glitch that goes on with that, but I won't really discuss that until we get there. You're going to need a fully upgraded jetpack to get to some of them. Just so you know. Alright, so we've found those. So, as I've said before, what I typically do is I just take the saucer between the landing zones just to see what there is there and then search that area. It wor It's always worked fine for me. You guys might have other... Oh yeah, I never actually... Uh, Two-player missions? Uh, where are they? Two-player missions are like little poxes that are laying around. Like, there's one right up there. This is something I probably should have mentioned a while back. But if you go up to it and you have two players, you can do pretty much a mini game. It'll either be a duel, which I'm not even sure what the duel does because I've never done one. But I have played two-player PK tennis, where you have to PK something back and forth over a net to, as sort of like in tennis. So that's just so you guys know what it is. Furitex cells are a bit difficult to find at times just because of those phones. As you guys know, there's those phone boxes laying around everywhere, and those are like the police boxes. And for whatever reason, since they put those on the map, it just makes it so much harder to find Furitex cells. But yeah, Bay City is by far the easiest to scan. Like, I've got the entire map where they'd be at in this. And you'll never be able to collect anything actually from the saucer, in case you guys were wondering. Okay, so we got one to grab back there. So we'll head straight back and get that. But yeah, once again, you will need a fully upgraded jetpack to get to some of these. It's also important to have a fully upgraded one for Albion. That one, I mean, sometimes you can get to Furitex cells and artifacts just from, like, not having a fully upgraded jetpack, like having a, a jetpack that's been upgraded, I think, once, because I can't remember how many times you can upgrade it, I think you upgrade it twice. If you upgrade it once, you can actually reach some stuff if you do some building hopping, but that just that's just a really monotonous, long task, and it's not really something that I consider to be fun at all, building hopping. It gets, it gets kind of old and, mean, and repetitive, I guess. All right, let's grab that Furitex cell. Yeah, it auto saves every time, so let's see. We have to get 15 more of those, and we still have two more odd jobs here that have not appeared yet. I'm kind of surprised. Thought for sure they'd have appeared here by now. But I do know pretty much that, like this video and the next video, are just going to be pure collectathons because we got to collect everything from Albion, and Albion is really, really annoying to search. Sometimes you have to zoom in a bit, or go down a bit, to tell if it's a uh, Furtex cell or a phone box. I see one right here. I think it's on top of this building. Yep. Yep, there it is. Alright, let's drop right in. Okay, let's keep going. We're already running on about four minutes. Well, we might be able to collect everything and head off to Albion. I mean, all in one video. I'd be kind of happy to see that. Whoa! Oh, crap. What the... It's in a weird spot. It's just an annoying spot, personally. I mean, you want to have the alert down as much as possible during this type of collect-a-thon. Sort of like how in Mercenaries 2, where I had... Uh, for the spare parts hunt, I pretty much made everyone friendly again for it, just so it would be easier for me to search. Because you don't want tanks and stuff shooting at you while you're searching, if at all possible, to avoid.
There it is. Alright, so that's a lot of them. I swear, some of them don't even... I, I don't know why, but it seems like some of them don't even become visible until you get the fear text all the text. I mean, I know that's not true, obviously, but... I wouldn't think it would be true. If it is, someone please tell me. I'd like to know, but, uh... I really don't care, because you have plenty of fear text cells... Wow, fail. You have plenty of fear text cells for the majority of the game, like... You don't need to do these collectathons, and you can still upgrade your necessary weapons pretty well. Alright. How many more? Eight! Ooh, we're almost done. Damn, we got done with this a little bit faster than expected. Yeah, as I've said before, though, Base City is the easiest place to search, and so is Takashima. So actually, like, the next maybe two or three, even three videos are going to be pure collectathons. Unless, we might have a new mission available in Albion, because so I could have sworn you actually finished the Albion side missions before you finished the base city side missions. Anyway, let's head up here. Yeah, only six minutes in, we might even be able to get started on Albion. I'm not a baby, okay? Shut up. If I knew which one you were, I'd have vaporized you by now, but whatever. Yeah, I think maybe if you had a, a jetpack that's been upgraded only once, you could actually get over to this building by doing the same strategy I am if you could get on top of that other one. Ah, no, no, don't do that, Crypto. Ow. Alright, let's just, I'm gonna check the rock real quick. Well, yeah, let's go on and check the rock. I can't remember if there's... I think there's one or two out on the rock, actually. I'm not completely sure, though. We might have found them if they were out here. Oh, no, I see a green dot. I see a single green dot. I was right. But where is it? Wow, that's actually in a pretty good uh, little... Hidden spot. That would be a little hard to find if you didn't know where you were going. If you didn't have this detector. Okay. Let's head back over here. That's what? Six more? Yep, six more. Alright, let's see how many are over here. So from that landing zone we have... I see one there... About to fly over one, then two more. So I know where four of them are. That's five. Where's that last one? There's the last one! Alright, I know where they all are. They're all between the wharf and that other landing zone. Very nice. Just take a moment to search, though. They're kind of spread out. I guess technically if you wanted to do this at a different... Okay, jetpack failure. I guess technically, though, if you wanted to do this at a different time in your game, like before you got the Fear Attack Cell Detector, you could, if you just, like, found a map of them online, which I'm sure you could. So in the 4th and 5th areas, we're actually going to be able to search for artifacts and Fear Attack Cells at the same time, which is pretty nice, actually. And we can knock out, sort of, hopefully we can clear out both of those areas in, like, two videos apiece, but I kind of doubt it, because, I mean... We'll still have to do the uh, landing zones. And the landing zones take a good amount of time to do. Thank you, TV. Being annoying. Again. God, I'll be glad when I get a new one. I think I finally convinced my parents that this one needs to be replaced. This, one's, this one was made like 25 years ago. I don't know why we're still keeping it. I almost want to break the screen just to see it act like a vacuum, because that's what one of our uh, teachers told us you could do, is that if you were to... I think our 8th grade teacher, he told us that uh, if you were to, like, smash the screen on one of these old TVs, not like a flat screen or something, it would act like a vacuum. I would kind of like to see that. Okay, at about... It's only going to take a little over 10 minutes to collect all the Furitech cells. 
Don't expect Albion to be easier, though. Don't expect Albion to be this fast. Because Albion is just really kind of hard to search due to its layout. And all the stupid phone boxes don't help. Because Albion has, like, a phone box on every corner. They think the Chinese are invading. Well, technically, if the Chinese were to invade us, or America were to invade China, it would destroy both of our economies and our uh, trade and everything. So both countries would be, like, destroyed pretty much. That would be good for Russia if they wanted to in invade, like in Modern Warfare 3, but Modern Warfare 3's invasion is all due to that, uh, believed terrorist attack that America, that they thought America did. Anyway, enough talking about other games. We're at about 11 minutes to complete all that, so let's head on to Albion and get started. Whoa! I've never seen that before. That cop was actually on the phone box. He was going to call him back up. That's actually kind of cool. I've never seen that before. I didn't know that was how they did it. That's actually really cool. Nothing new. Alright, let's head off to Albion. We might have a new mission available, hopefully. Well, I think we're done with every Arvudo cult in the game. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the Navicom screen. You might not have, but that's what it does. It's it's kind of cool, but it's a little boring. Ah, oh, no new missions, really. Ooh, right off the bat, we got a couple over here. I can't remember when we get those other missions, but I want them to activate. I mean... There's quite a few of them. We gotta get them done eventually, so I'd like to just get them done while we're here without making me waste time to make a trip back. Yeah, due to Albion's layout, it's gonna take quite a while to search here. <sighs> Invisible wall. Getting on top of these buildings is actually kind of difficult. I think the best thing to do is to, uh, oh wow, it wasn't even on top of a building. I thought it was, but I guess it wasn't. Yeah, as you can see, our health bar's gotten bigger. Very nice. That's probably what I'm going to go on and upgrade again, but when you get to Area 4, late, later in Area 4, there's going to be a data core we get that's basically going to give us, allow us to make some of our weapons even more powerful, like the Ion Detonator, the Gastro, the Zapomatic, and the uh, Disintegrator. And maybe the Burrow Beast. Yeah, let's see. The Zapomatic. The Disintegrator. The Ion Detonator. The Meteor Strike. The Gastro. Alright, that's it. So, uh, I'm not sure why I want to upgrade, actually, since we have some Pure Tech Cells again. Ah, uh, let's upgrade the Saucer Shields for the coming battle in, uh, Takashima. So, let's see what we need. Okay, we are 17 away. I think I'm going to go on and cut off the video here, guys. So, next time, we will hopefully collect the remaining 17 Furitech cells in Albion. I will see you guys then.